All right, guys, welcome back to Roleplay. I don't even know what the fuck is... don't even know. Um, so let's first off discuss um, the level drain. So Bregor is effectively a second level fighter uh, with his experience halfway between second and third level. Uh, he rolled very well, well on his uh, losing life. So when he levels back up, he'll reroll new life, which will probably make him a little OP because right now he's got 29 life for a second level fighter. Um, nice. Also, considering that you guys are fighting fairly strong creatures, he may be less useful right now, but as you know, he levels up, uh, he should level up faster is what I'm trying to say. Has he ever he been be useful, same. Neil? Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to be nice to everyone here, and you're making it hard. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I messaged you my spells, by the way, that I memorized. Yeah, I got night. those. Okay. Um, so... I messaged you my happiness about, like, the shiny things I have now. <laughs> yeah. I actually didn't message you, no. <laughs> oh, I sent that. I posted that to you. I meant that to post that to general. Post what? Yeah. I posted a link, and I thought I posted the link. Oh. I thought I posted another. It's fine. Yeah, that was doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, guys. Neil, can I get a weather forecasting stone for my character? <laughs> if you can find one. <laughs> okay. they, they probably exist in the world. Okay. Good to know. So, now what? Get back on the road and head uh, we sleep that yeah. town. We sleep through the night. <laughs> Yeah, you guys sleep through the night. Nothing unusual happens. All right. I just get up, put on all my gear. I don't really say much and get on the caravan, ride past high top, give it the finger as I'm doing so, then make it the tarnwood. <laughs> I didn't kill any deers during the night. <laughs> no, no deer approached you during the night. Oh, crap. All right. Um, if you guys push it hard, you can make it to tarnwood after nightfall, uh, probably like midnight, 1 a.m. ish, if you don't stop and rest very much. And if you... If you really push it, you could make it to Tarnwood. Let's push it. Mm. Push it real good. Push it real good. Yeah. Push it. <laughs> okay. You guys get to Tarnwood late. You guys are exhausted. You've been traveling all day without resting very much. Your horses are tired. You know, uh, you encountered a few people on the road, but you didn't even talk to them. You kind of just like drove right past them. Yeah. <laughs> Weatherstone. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so we get into town late, and rather than try and get down to business, we're just going to grab a room and go to sleep, post guards, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, you get a room, night passes, or you get a couple of rooms, night comes, night goes, you wake up, it's the next day. And this is the town that Dalamar's in now, right? No, this is Tarnwood, this is one town before Valesburg, where Dalamar lives. Oh, okay. Then we hit the road again. Okay. Same spells. Same spells. You hop on the road, you get to Valesburg in the evening, late afternoon, really. Uh, oh, let's say I healed everyone over the... Because Ryan took some damage, right? Yeah, but he lost more due to magic than he took, so... Perfect. He's at full. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. So we make it to Valesburg? Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, yeah. You make it to Valesburg. I kind of glance over at the head. What what does it look like? Is it maggoty yet? <laughs> it's just inside my shirt. Yeah, but the shirt is soaked and it's kind of smelly and rotty and disgusting. You did get some looks from the innkeeper. Um, it smells just like Tudagub. <laughs> it smells worse than Tudagub. A lot worse. Oh. It smells like death mm. and rotting flesh. Nice. Yeah. My favorite smells. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess we just kind of... You guys get into Villesburg. Uh, go up the Delamar with the head. Where do you leave your... You leave your horses and wagon with uh, an inn, I take it? Yeah. Yeah, the same one that we stayed uh, the other two times we've been in town. Okay. I forgot what, what the name is. I'd like to say I'm really nervous because I think you wanted it alive. All right, you guys head back to Delamar. You face the... The same terror and horror and uncertainty as you approach, except for Abigail, again. Um, I won't re 
do it all. But <laughs> right. for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, this tower is enchanted by a magic aura of fear that makes everyone almost incapable of approaching, except for Abigail, who's been given a charm by Dalimar to walk right on through. Yeah, he charmed me. So I'm, I'm just going to walk, like, <clears throat> I want to be first in the tower. Well, I guess Abigail's going to be first in the tower again, right? Since she's not... Yeah, I mean, she can... Yeah, she has no problem. Well, before we get up there, can I... Um, I want to have a talk with Abigail. Um, um, am I close enough? You guys have been traveling for days. You can have okay. a chat. All right, so I just say, assuming... like Melvish or... Uh, no, I'll, I'll say it in common. Okay. So hopefully Dalimar is cool with us bringing back the head and he he's not upset about the fact that he's dead but <laughs> in case he does not like that uh he likes you the most so i think you should be the one to give him the head oh jeez do you really think me holding a dead head will change the impact of his reaction well i think if you're the one that gives it to him and he likes you the most then it'll soften the blow if it's bad uh, is this an elvish, by the way? No, it's in no, common. It's in common. Yeah. Can we all hear this? Yeah. Hey, guys, he can probably fucking hear this. Can we just go? Like, this guy sees everything yeah, in the go. town. Yeah, just go. Whatever. Go, go, go. <laughs> I don't mean to speed things up, Ryan. That's a great plan and all, but he probably fucking hears this conversation. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel right. like pissing myself. This guy's very strong. I'm in the... <laughs> A situation where he's mo like a hundred feet away, and I feel like I'm gonna piss myself. Okay, <laughs> this is fucked up. Let's just go up the fucking tower. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> All right. Wait. What? So oh. Abigail knocks on the door. The head opens. Do you want to come in? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think Look I just messed that. up and gave you a spell that you shouldn't have, or a couple of spells that you're not supposed to have, JP. Is it like the one that I've been choosing for the third level spell every time? No, I think some of your second level spells that I gave you are actually wizard spells and not priest spells. Like Sunscorch? No, um, Withdraw, Wyvern Lock, and Zone of Truth. Oh. Oh my <laughs> god, my boyfriend <laughs> would have been with me. I would like to go back in time and be still his girlfriend, please. No. No, um, let me investigate this a little bit later. Okay. Also, I think nap might be one of them because I picked that spell thinking it was going to work for me, but then it's like wizards can memorize spells as if real time has passed. So I think that might be <laughs> wizards only. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Nope. Nope. Never mind. They're probably free spells. It's probably fine. Perfect. Okay. So we go up to the top of the tower. So you go up to the top of the tower. Um, you guys enter, or you knock, Delmar says, come on in. Um, you get there, and he's stand sitting in his normal position in his soft red chair, fingers kind of bracing. He says, ah, uh, have you brought me Sir Brightblade? We did. <laughs> Bregor, if you could give there. him Sir Brightblade, please. <clears throat> so I... Take the, the hold, on, hold on, hold on. Before, look, Mr. Dalimar, you're a nice guy, right? I'm getting real fucking tired of walking through this fear shit that you got going down on the first level. Shut Can you do up, something I about this? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. All right, so but I take the shirt off. What, that, uh, he, he was responding. <laughs> and I show the head to Dalimar. Oh, and, and that happened. But this fear shit, man, please. Shut up, Tadagab. <laughs> You brought me his head. That was the best we could do. He decided to fight us. Yep. And the said, four of you couldn't subdue him. <clears throat> we well, we did, but then a wraith came out, started to really kind of run amok, so we set him free. And then when we tried to explain to him that we need to bring him back to you, he said he was going to fight us to the death. So I thought it would be a good idea to cut his head off. They tried to stop me. But, uh... As you can see, I got the uh, upper advantage, if you would. Uh. 
Jeff was really using his head that day, Dalamar. <laughs> Bright Blade couldn't after the event stuff. You <laughs> killed him. What good is him to me dead? Well, to be honest, sir, you said to bring him back, and uh, we... Uh... I said bring him back. I did not say collect his head. That is well, true. Well, you gotta be you specific, say... man. How, I mean... You know what? If we did this wrong, I'm, you know, I apologize. Um, to be honest, like I said, he's a really powerful guy. I tried to bring him back peacefully. He beat me in a duel. He uh, was much, much more powerful than us, so we tried all the tricks we could. It didn't work, and I made a judgment call, and if it's the wrong one, then I accept the responsibility, but this is the best we could do. Well... Such is life, I guess. Yeah, except for you were going to kill him anyways, right? I mean, friend to friend. Oh, well, I have no use for you now. You are, you may leave. Okay. Did you <clears throat> want the head, or should we take that with us? <laughs> leave it. Thank you. <laughs> JP. <laughs> Ooh. Right, Delamar, so in the in the uh, crypt that we fought Sir Brightblade in, I was lowered by two levels. <laughs> How, you can't possibly Dude, think what? Brigger, you, you know, have, have you been drinking? Like First you talk no. about this rolling business, and now this level business? What? I mean, okay, so what would I say? <laughs> what can I say roleplay that I lost two levels? How do I roleplay that? You Yo, felt sorry really we weak. The mission and you're kicking us out really <laughs> pissed off, but I was to do me this big favor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my levels back. Hey, uh, Dalmar, I, uh, I lost two levels, man. Can you, uh, I don't know, help a bro out? <laughs> <laughs> but she has charisma, guys. I, don't I'm, say I'm, levels, because that doesn't mean anything to your character. Okay, so, so <clears throat> when he said go, I started walking out, Neil. Like, All right, so... <laughs> While we were down there, I I'm as well. became. I'm staying a much for the story. This fighter. could be good, guys. You're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering if you could restore my abilities to me. Yes, wraiths do have a way to make a man feel impotent. Good one, Dalmar. Go talk to a priest. Do you uh, recommend one? One that is not in this tower. Go. All right, I leave. <laughs> as as Breger walks out, I <laughs> I look at my boots and I point down to him and kind of go, eh, maybe. He just glares at you. I don't even get words. Um. Uh oh. I bet you after make a he <laughs> starts chanting a spell. Make a saving throw versus spell. Okay. Just a uh, roll which 20. It's 14 or higher. Okay. Roll d20. 10. 10. I lost. You feel yourself freeze and play. It's a hold person spell. You're held. Okay. Um, Dalmar walks up to you, oh God. takes out his staff, whaps you in the back of the knees, and you like sink down. So now you're actually like face to face. And he look, gets right up in your face and says, I am not a person to be trifled with. Do not waste my time. And then he snaps his fingers, and your hold your uh, hold person spell wears off. I just kind of walk out of the room, not say anything. <laughs> nice. All right. So at the base of the tower, we're all gathering. Mm -hmm. Say, uh, guys. Actually, you gather quite a ways away from the base. Of the tower. Uh, obviously, yeah. We don't want to be in the terror thing. Uh, very sorry. Apparently, I completely messed up that mission. On the bright side, <laughs> I don't think... We all have I a laugh. <laughs> I don't think Dalimar will be asking us to do any more evil deeds, so we can, we can chalk this up as a dark time, and then we can move on. We still don't know if he was a bad person. I still like him. Whatever. Uh, well, I mean, what is done go, is done. You can keep visiting him. Hey, you uh, can no, keep no, 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 that. no, no, no. All right, hold did, on. Did Let's... Keeps a decapitated head monster as his doorkeep. You feel a sense of dread when you walk into his castle, but he's probably a pretty great guy. I feel great in there. Are we in public like... when we're saying all this? Are there people hearing that? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> um, 
All right, I'm getting in the caravan. What? It's early morning, right? Or no, we we rode into town, right? Yeah, yeah. you rode into town. Stayed it's late afternoon. All right, I'm gonna go to the bar. I gotta get. I gotta drink a bunch. Rhaegar, you should look into that armor and get it yeah. refitted well, and stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is go try and find a priest. Okay. You easily come across a priest. There's a bunch in the town. Okay. So I, I say to him, um, Priest, I was... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Priest. <laughs> Uh, Mr. I, Priest, I lost two levels here. Can you uh, help me out? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop, Brian. I'll stop. Brian is the best for how high is Christmas. It's my favorite. <laughs> I'll stop picking on you. Um, <clears throat> I was fighting a, a creature in a crypt, and after fighting him, uh, my skill in battle has greatly decreased, and I was told that a uh, priest could possibly help me gain that back. Um, the pre I'm trying to look up what level spell that is. That was some good role play, man. I gotta get some XP for that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the priest says, uh, that is far beyond my ability. Only the most powerful of clerics can wield such power over life and death. Are there any in this town? No. No. Um, he kind of glances towards the tower and says, uh, how shall I phrase this? You, you would need a cleric of similar knowledge and wisdom to, and just kind of nods at the tower, to do such a thing. Mm. I just lament my lost levels and walk away. Okay. Well, uh, Neil, out, outside the game, because I think I would know this as a military trained guy, but who uses a spear? Like, is that a knight's weapon? Um, no, spears are used by pretty much anyone and everyone. Um, knights will use spears in place of lances or, you know, if they're hunting boars or just various things, they can use a spear. Sometimes they'll carry a spear so they can throw it before they charge into battle with a, cool. a sword, you know. Uh, proficiency, like I'm a I'm a longsword kind of guy. So what what would my attack roll be for a spear? D what? Jeff, I'm looking at your character sheet right now. So you've put all of your weapon proficiencies into sword, shield, and then dagger. So you would attack at your fourth level. So you get plus three, plus four. So you'd get plus two to hit. Um, so okay, D20, D20 plus, plus two. two. But and you're also coming wise? up on. A level where you get a new weapon proficiency, so oh, okay. you can learn a new weapon soon if you want. And what would the damage be? Because like my longsword's D8, but what is a spear? Uh, I think spear is D68, D6 to normal, um, D8 to large. But if set like set in the ground against a charging creature or a charging horse or something, it will do double damage, like auto crit on a hit. Oh wow! Okay, cool. Definitely Thank you. They can also shit, be man. thrown, you know, to attack. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I think I just became King Leon Leonidas. <laughs> yeah, it's D68. But although um, there's the matter of weapon mat, like so, right now you're specialized in longsword. You can increase that specialization by one step further, uh, which will give you an extra one to hit and two to dam, extra two to hit and one to damage with your sword with any longsword. Um, if you would rather, if you would put it into that at I mean, the next a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. What about asking. the other party members? Like, is there someone who's like super good with spears? No, single class fighters right. are the only ones that can specialize or master weapons. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I just tell the guys that I'm sorry that I messed it up and that now we're free of Dalimar for the time being, I suppose. <laughs> I recommend that Bragar goes and works on the armor, but it sounds like he went off to have a chat with the priest. Um, for me personally, I'm going to go to the tavern order an apple juice and start asking the barkeep if he has any jobs that he needs us to do. <laughs> I'm going to sit down. I'll go to the bar with Jeff and buy two beers and put one in front of him and say, like, today's a drinking day. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll have, I'll have a beer. Thank you, sir. And then when I All cheers right. and I, I say, uh, fuck, what, what's something? We each have a kill or something like that. <laughs> We clink the glasses. 
All right. Um, well, I guess I'll go mess around with my things I have. <laughs> you mess around um, with your things? Yeah, like, I guess I'll appraise the gems, but I don't know if you want to tell me or tell, like, just write it to me or something. Written to you. All right. So I'm going to go inform myself where I can sell things. So I'm going to go up to a, to a guard and be like, hey, I have a... I am a fairly wealthy person, and I am looking to sell some awesome goods I found. You know, people who would be interested in gems. He says, you must be new to town. Yeah, new to town. Yeah, there's a, a goldsmith who does a lot of work with gems that might be willing to buy them. There's also some merchants that travel through town that might do it. It gives you vague directions to their locations. All right. So I go to Marchant. Okay. Uh, this is late in the evening, though. Or late in the afternoon, early evening. Oh. Okay. Does it mean something? Is it, like, closed yet? Yeah, I mean, oh. yeah, it's probably closed. Oh, then we'll wait, I guess. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go to the bar and chill with them. Okay. Bregor, what do you do? I go to the bar. Okay. You guys are in the bar. It's been, what, two days? Two days since the event, more or less. Uh, and it kind of wears heavily, or lit, sits heavily on all your souls. You feel bad. Well, I already killed He's, someone. This is my second kill now. <laughs> yeah, well, you still feel bad. <laughs> okay. Has uh, Bregor gotten the armor on himself yet? Um, Bregor, have you tried it? Mm, uh, no, I haven't. Okay, well then... You guys don't know if it fits him. It probably won't because he's an elf and the other guy was a human. There's some body type differences there. Well, it could be refit. He's going to take it to a... Yeah, exactly. Get yeah. a refit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. We're just kind of chilling there. <laughs> I'll go <laughs> ask the... All right, uh, then we're going to go to a... Uh, oh, go ahead. Well... Did we, did, did Jeff, did you talk to the, I guess I'll do this in game. Vincent, did you ask the bartender if there was uh, anyone that needs killing? <laughs> Not in so many words, but uh, I'll go have another chat with them, see if there's any work around town. Okay. If not. So I go do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. Uh, hold on, just making some character sheet modifications. Sure. For writing down the equipment you guys have now. Um, Ryan, bright blade, blade armor. Which ways? Seventy pounds. Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, so you go up to the bartender, asking if he's got any jobs for you. Yeah, he knows of anyone that needs help in the town or work, that kind of stuff. He says, well, if I'm not mistaken, you guys are the ones that killed that Hydra down south, aren't you? Yes, we that are, That would sir. be us. Well, no one is, you know, most of the jobs that come through here are a little beneath your level of ability, uh, I would say. And while this isn't strictly someone that's asked for help, I've heard that heroic and wonderful folks such as yourselves might be of use up in Bremer. Um, rumors say that there have been uh, some goblins harassing the town. Okay. I really appreciate that, sir. And then I give him, I don't know, I have like less than Bremen gold. or Silver Hall, he says. I'm, I, don't, I don't remember. How much did you give him? What did you say? Like a couple silver pieces or whatever. Okay. Yeah, because you only have one gold left. I ask yeah. him... Uh... I want to ask the bartender, have you heard anything from the citizens of Willowbrook uh, in, the, in recent days? Are, are, is the town established there yet? Willowbrook? That place was destroyed. Right, right. Do you know how, how it's doing? Is it, do they just not rebuild? Oh, I don't know. What was it? A couple weeks back, something happened. Uh, ogres came in and destroyed the place, I think. I think so. Something kind of like a that. tragedy. Uh, best of my knowledge, the place is wiped off the face of the earth. 
Okay. You, you guys, you don't know of any refugees here in town, do you? I don't know. I hear some are about somewhere. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I go back and tell the guys that there's some potential goblins uh, tormenting those two towns and that we could head in that direction if we wanted some work. I, uh, I, I hear what Vincent says and I bring Bragger closer and kind of put my arm around him because I'm a little drunk. <clears throat> I, I say hill giant. Eh? <laughs> and see what he thinks. Mm, I think that I feel a lot less powerful now <laughs> than I used to. And I don't know if I'm quite ready for a hill giant. I kind of so, I look at Vincent and see... Or hill look, giant? What, what do you mean? Like, he said goblins, not hill giant. Right, but if you remember... And we have uh, the legend with the bow. The legend of the bow. Oh, that's true. Yeah, with the goblins. It's true. That is true. Don't we you can... want to discover if we have a super goblin killing bow? I mean, I'm just thinking, whatever happened to that female half orc that uh, we scared the shit out of? You know, maybe we should go <laughs> check up on her and see if that uh, that hill giant's still in that uh, encampment that we ran away from. I think we can check it out eventually. I kind of want to get this armor resized and yeah. re. I want to pimp my armor, basically. <laughs> well, shouldn't you go do that now and before we leave town for these goblins? We can, you can do that. Yeah, I think I'd it'd like be a good idea. It might take a couple of days though for the armorsmith to do it. So, I'd like to know. Uh, so, did JP get Zone of Truth or never? Uh, or does he still have it? Um, let me just. Double check real quick. While you're looking that up, I'm going to suggest to Breger that he goes to my guy, by the way, for armor and tell him that I sent him and that I have remembered the promise still. Yeah. He still has Zone of Truth. I was, I got messed up when I was looking up spells. Aww. I was going to be like, okay, I'm back with my boyfriend, guys. No, no, no. He still has it. I, that was yeah. a mistake on my part. All right, all right. I kind of look at Abigail and do the Zone of Truth You dance. don't know I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I just asked that. Okay. So Ryan, uh, yeah, I, I go over to the armor smith. Well, the same one. To sleep. That I remind did. I remind Breger that it's dark outside. <laughs> okay. We can sleep then. I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna stay okay. up drinking for a while, but then I'll go sleep. I'll be the last one up. All right. Okay. Uh, during that night, if I see really drunk people, I'd like to try to pick their pockets. There are a lot of really drunk people. Just go around the tavern, like picking pockets. I look left for people right. who I, I look for someone who looks richer. Like I won't pick the pockets of like a half dead like guy who seems right. really. Okay, good, like, you there's a merchant drinking in the area, and you manage to steal some things from him. Awesome. <laughs> you steal a bag of gold worth. The fuck was that? Forty-three gold. Yeah. <laughs> Do I see that happen at all since I'm still up? Um, I'm drunk. I'm no, man. no, Nobody you don't. Sees. Okay. All my skill are, are in pickpocketing. I'm like super pro at this shit. Yeah. yeah. I do my teeth dance in my head. I don't do it for real, though. <laughs> okay, so eventually everyone goes to sleep. Oh, uh, JP, you drank a lot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, next morning rolls around. What do you guys do? I head over to the armor smith that Vincent got his done at. Yeah, I'm gonna go with him. Okay. You head <clears> over <throat> there. All right. So uh, I approach the armor smith and I say, I have a suit of armor that fits a human and I'm willing uh, I'm wondering if you can tailor it to me instead and also maybe change the graphic or the what the <laughs> what the armor looks like as well yes you want me to change the the insignias or the he kind of looks at you guys and said, is this armor stolen? 
It's no, not it's from, from a fallen comrade. We're going to mm -hmm. make sure it gets to good use. Okay. You don't want to honor him by keeping the the, the signias and stuff? If you could give me the insignia, that'd be great, but we don't want to wear his insignias because that would dishonor his legacy. Okay, I see that. Yeah, I can do it for you. Um, what? But it'll take a while. Uh, I mean, the resizing is one thing, but then, you know, pounding out all the, the the shiny parts, so to speak, will take a little time as well. Okay. So how much time and gold would it take? Uh, you're going to have to give me... About a week, week and a half, because I already got this other project going on, um, and it will cost you mm, probably about 400 gold. Okay. And can you make the insignia uh, a bear? <laughs> He's a like, you want me to add, add a bear to the breastplate? Yes. That's, that's okay. how <laughs> I want it to be redesigned. Sir, 550 or... gold, and I can give you a bear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. You give him the money? Yeah, I give him the money. Okay. Oh, Thank you, sir. And just as a reminder, I have not forgotten our promise. The time so, is still not yet here, but I, I will keep checking in with you. He nods. Says, Thank you. Okay. Um, you give him the armor. He takes some measurements from you. Uh, and then, you know. Can, can I request that Ryan draws? this insignia and shows it to the group next week i think that is an amazing request and we should yeah. definitely do that my ryan, my art you are, ryan you have uh, to I no that's think I real think counting on that ryan I you think have to draw it ryan this is you can't get someone else to draw this shit you have to it draw cannot. it yep I'll, I'll draw something but i really i really rolled like a two in real life uh, in drawing skills <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, man. You'll still be charismatic. It doesn't matter. Like I said, Ryan, I th I'm pretty sure JP's counting on that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he wants a super awesome picture of a bear. All right. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Cool. All Colored right, so like pencils say, and everything. Fucking go out. Go all out, man. What I say then is, uh, you Ryan, have homework. <laughs>